Do you want to know how to form Italy the quickest and the best way? Then please stay tuned to this video. Hey guys, this is Flying Dutchie and welcome to a guide video to form Italy. We are going to do this as the two Sicilies. Um, there are a couple of other nations you can try to do with, for example Sardinia, Piedmont and the Papal States. Uh, you can actually uh, try to do it with the minor states, but uh, one thing you need to be is a major power. And the two Sicilies start as a major power. The Sardinia Piedmont is not starting as a major power, so it's the easiest uh, to start as the two Sicilies. And in this video I will show you how to form it very quickly and also uh, in a different way, where you can take more stuff from Austria. So let's jump into the game. To form Italy, you will have to go to the Cultures tab over here and then go to Nation Formation. You have to click on Italy and here you can see that Italy is a major unification. There are three major unifications in the game. It's the German unification, the Scandinavian unification and the Italian unification. Uh, I will make a video of all of these three and I start with Italy. And I will put them in a playlist so that you can find them very easily uh, in one playlist if you want to watch all of them. Now to form Italy, we need to have um, 12 of these state regions. And as you can see on the bottom, we need to have research nationalism. So let's do this first. Let's go to the technology society tab. And we are going to click on nationalism. It will take seven years to research it. But uh, the purpose of this video is to form Italy as quickly as possible. So we are going to do this. Uh, it's seven years because you have a couple of technologies uh, not researched above this one. That will lo uh, make the time longer as well. Uh, but yeah, we go for nationalism. And when that is done, we can actually do something over here. But we will go there when that is there. Now another thing that you need to do is improve relations with the people around you. Uh, especially France and Austria, I would say. And maybe you can also go and improve relations with Prussia, because later in the game I will attack Austria to uh, show you how you can also form Italy uh, in another way, and then you get a bit more land. So we can't do it right now, because we don't have an interest in Prussia. So I will actually select an interest here. The other interest will go over here, and I will also explain that later why I put it over there. Now it is very important that we stay a major power and the two Sicilies have a tendency to lose this. Now one way to keep this is to put your military wages to the max, you get more army power projection. Uh, don't put the government wages down because you lose 10% prestige or 20%, so keep them in the middle. Um, I will at the start would tax everything out of my people, I will put some uh, yeah, consumption tax on services, on liquor, luxury clothes, luxury furniture, all the things that you... Uh, that your rich people can afford and what I then will do is wait until the game is done with the interest and then we will increase our relations with Prussia. Now another thing I will do is put my construction sector to iron frame buildings. I am going to build a couple more, for example two in Sicily over here and I will make sure that I will make my economy run and I will build more troops, maybe like 10 or 20 for each army. And yeah, we'll just let the game run now and wait for the interest to activate in Prussia. Should actually happen very soon. I don't think I have to pause the video for this. Should uh, come up here. Yeah, there we go. And now we can improve with Prussia. There we go. Now it is important that the nations in Italy are going to like us. Um, at the moment we see that Tuscany is uh, genial. Luca is cooperative. Modena and Parma and uh, Sardinia Piedmont is genial. Only the Papal States are cautious to us, so what I really want to do is improve relations with them. I will do this when my relations with Austria are kept out, and then I will improve with the minor nations in Italy. Another thing that I would do is go to your politics screen uh, over here and reform your government and put in the military. Uh, it will go down to 70, so you get a bit of less opposition interest approval. But this way you can go and get the National Guard. Uh, you will make the armed forces happy and that will give you your armies a boost as well. So let's try to get the National Guard going in the, main, in the same time. Alright, we are done with uh, improving with Austria. So now I will go and improve with the Papal State of course. Um, I can also improve with the other countries. Let's make sure that the Sardinia Piedmont is on like us as well. So let's top these off to 50. 
right? As you can see, my interest groups are now listed over here. Um, when your armed forces are very happy, and they are because we are trying to get a national guard, they get a bonus. And if we can get their cloud above 20% or around 20%, then we will not get a 15% boost, but 30%. So that is really handy if you want to go to war. Alright, we have our first uh, technology that we need, mass communication, we have a bit more authority, and now the game is going to do nationalism. It will take six years, it will take a long time, you could build some more universities, but I don't think it's really worth it to just try and form Italy. I mean, you do want the universities later in the game to get your, uh, your literacy up to 75, we're now at 50. Uh, we also have a lot of authority left, so maybe we can get another uh, thing here, but I prefer not to and grain or cloves at, at my consumption taxes, because that is for people that have almost no money. I can add wine, I guess, and porcelain. Let's add these two. Now, and with the authority over here, I'm going to bolster my armed forces, so we can ma maybe hopefully get them a lot more clout. And I guess I'm going to suppress the Catholic Church. Alright, we have now National Guard, uh, National Guard, so that means that we can also have more uh, conscripts if I want to. Um, I have um, improved my relations with a lot of these people. France is almost at 50, Austria as well. And I'm now improving with the minor states over here. I'm building a couple of uh, barracks. And I'm going to build more paper and government administration because we are a bit low and we have some taxation capacity over here. And then I will see you soon when we have nationalism. Alright, we are almost there. Nationalism is almost researched. Uh, we have improved relations with almost all the great powers. Unfortunately, France is cautious, so they might not join when we, when we need him. But Austria wants a trade agreement. Prussia wants a trade agreement. They are very happy with me. Uh, I wish that we would have France on our side, but it's not gonna work. I've been building up my army and my navy a bit, so I get more prestige. And now we are just waiting for nationalism to kick in. It's almost there. Some prestige, I guess, and there it is. Now, a couple of things are going to happen. Uh, first of all, I will select the military technology uh, so we can get better troops. Uh, we should maybe get the general stuff. No, then we need ammunition. Let's go with this one. Uh, so, let's see what happens. If I unpause the video, a couple of things are going to happen. I think next month. Oh, not sure. When you click on the culture and you go to nation formation we are now a unification candidate because we as the two sicilies have researched nationalism now you can see that one of these countries one of them is going is, is supporting us right now it's luca only so we would like to get parma modena tuscany the papal states sardinia piemont on our side now the only one that will not go on our side is the papal states because they have this cautious attitude to us um, let's see if some of them are actually going to join us. They should uh, join soon. Yeah, there we go. Everyone is now uh, under our control except for the Papal States. Now if I want to form Italy, we only have 10 out of 12 because the states from these countries are now also counting. Um, so except for the Papal State, uh, everyone is going to join us. Now, we can do a unification play. And we, we should do this. Because we will only fight the Papal States. We will have all the other nations as our allies. And Prussia and Austria likes us. So they ma may side with us. So we're going to do this right now. We'll give some infamy, unfortunately. Uh, maybe you are lucky and uh, Italy and Sardinia Piedmont will not fight you. Well, then you are very lucky. What you also get when you form Italy is get the event Giuseppe Garibaldi. Uh, you can make this guy a, a general or a republican uh, nationalist. Um, I will let him lead the front. Normally it gives a good commander. Let's see how good he is this time. He's an expert artillery commander, so he has more 15. He has 15 more offense. He has home offense and defense. And he's a bit reckless, but you know what? Let's promote this guy a little bit. I think when I promote him a bit more, the armed forces cloud will go up. And then we might get the 30% boost. Yeah, there we go. We have a 30% uh, attack bonus now. Alright, the first maneuver the escalation is over. We are now in the next one. No, this is the escalation one. I don't know what this one is called. But in this phase, you can sway countries on your side. So what we want to do is ask Austria to join us for an obligation. 
Let's pause the video. Speed 5. Let's see if they accept. There we go. And we can take Russia. Is Russia the only one? I don't think Prussia is in the list anymore. No, they don't want to join anymore. I could ask in Russia, but let's see if we can succeed with only Austria. Now, we have uh, researched Napoleonic Warfare, so we have better artillery. Let's have a look at another military tech. Maybe we can make use of it before the war starts. We have a defense boost here. Uh, I don't think we have ammunition things yet. Let's get the uh, logistics. No, the um, field work. So we get another defense boost. I don't think we will research it in time. But let's, let's just give it a try. Uh, you can put this to mobile artillery. We go from 10 and 10 to 15 and 15. And we have more morale damage, etc. The only downside is when I click this, that my army uh, is going through a, yeah, a period that it needs to adjust. So it will be fighting weaker. But let's go for it. Anyway, you should, this number will go down now, I think. Because the game needs to recalculate. No, it's actually fine. You can see it over here, when you click on a troop here, that it needs to uh, adjust. It's only to minus 20%, so it's actually okay. The army will be a little bit stronger when the war starts. And it looks like no one else is going to help, so this should be a very easy war against the Papal States. And then we can form Italy. So let's see how this war goes. Let's see our first strike over here. We are attacking with all our troops, and we are having... Um, 28 troops at the start of the battle, and they only have 12. We are stronger, we are going to crush them. Very, very rapidly. And there we go. The Papal States is almost completely done. A little bit left over here. A couple more battles happening in the background. And we want to unify Italy. No, need to wait until they are going to... Uh, Say yes, it's almost there. At minus 100, they have no other option. And there we go. And that means that we annex everything with that button. So right now we are, well, Italy. But we are now called the two Sicilies. So what you can do now is go here and form Italy. Um, the only thing that will change when you do this is your name. And you will, not, you will get an extra culture accepted. We now have South Italian. We will have North Italian and South Italian as accepted cultures. So it's June 22, 1843. You can form Italy. I also built some universities, so it went a little bit quicker. Now, what you can do now, because there are still four states in this list that are considered, uh, considered Italian. They are part of Austria. So what I always like to do is try to get these four states from Austria. Now what you can do is uh, go and take state, but that gives a lot of infamy. Uh, but what you also can do is release Venice and Lombardy and Istria. Three of the four are releasable countries. And when you can make these countries like you, they will pop up over here. And then you can form Italy with them backing you for free. So that is what I will try to do in the second part of this video. So this is the easiest way to form Italy. And now I'm going to continue to try to uh, take Austria down with the help of Russia and Prussia, hopefully. So let's uh, actually improve with them and stop the improving, uh, the approval with Austria. I should also try to get France on our side still. Um, that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, what you also should not forget is to incorporate your states. Uh, incorporate everything, otherwise you're not going to tax the people. So we will incorporate everything, and that is also the reason why we are losing so much money. All these people don't pay any taxes right now. Uh, what I will do is maybe pause my constructions a bit and let this recover. And I will be back when I'm ready to attack Austria. Now, since we are a great power, we are having more interests. Um, I made an interest in Spain, in uh, North Africa and in the Niger area. And I will go to my laws over here. And I will go and get colonial exploitation. We're going to start colonizing. And there we go. We have colonial exploitation. So we can start colonizing. I'm going to start colonizing Igbo. And this way we can have our own dice and, and coffee. All that kind of things. Uh, make sure you build a port here. So it will be connected to your market. It will go very slowly because we have no malaria prevention or whatsoever. I'm still trying to improve uh, with uh, Prussia and Russia. France is going to be a problem. 
Great Britain maybe joins, and we need to lower our relations with Austria enough so we can attack him. And I'm also going to wait until my infamy is at zero. Alright, something is happening. Um, the war between Prussia and Austria for the German leadership, for their major unification, is happening. Uh, this could be a good moment to attack, but we are not ready yet. Because we uh, need to lower their relations a bit more. Um, yeah, and I, need, I think I still need better troops, so... I will watch what happens here. Maybe I will strike. And unfortunately, I cannot attack Austria because they owe an obligation from me. And I have no idea when that one is going away. Uh, that needs to go away first before we can even attack Austria. Now, and also Prussia is losing the uh, German leadership war. So, not the best news for us, to be honest. So, we got our field works For uh, technology, I'm going for the percussion cap. So, we get the munition plant and then we go for the general stuff. So, we can have better infantry. Gonna build ammunition and then we are gonna get the rifles. Alright, France has changed their attitude and we can actually get an alliance if we give them an obligation. So, let's get an alliance with France. I think it is going to be a very good ally against Austria. Still trying to get something from uh, from Prussia or Russia. They are at least above zero. Great Britain is also very happy with me. We are now just waiting for the obligation to go away and I have no idea how long that's going to take. So if you're going to do this yourself, don't get an obligation to Austria, if possible. Uh, maybe I could have taken the Papal State without the help of Austria and then I could have uh, done the thing that I want to do maybe five years ago already. So that's how you, how you should do it. Uh, but let's wait until the obligation is going away. It should go away soon. So while we are waiting, I am uh, getting my innovativeness up. We can have a maximum of 88. I will try to reach that, mo uh, that number. It's based on your literacy and the base rate of 50. And I'm also going to build dye plantations in our uh, colonies in Igbo. So we can use dyes for our production. Uh, we can build uh, this one more close. And I think there's something else we can do. We can make ceramics with the dyes. So that's what I will do. And in the meantime, I have built up my army. We now have 155 regiments that can fight. Um, we might be able to get more boats as well. Let's have a look if we are using all of it. No, we can build way more boats. So I'm going to increase my naval bases to at least 40 now. That's all in Italy, if I remember correctly. Uh, Romania and Tuscany. So and we'll have a fleet of 40 uh, boats. Alright, we are still waiting. It's 1852 and the obligation is still not over. But I researched skirmish inventory. Uh, you need an ammunition plant for this. And for the ammunition plant you need uh, a chemical plant that makes explosives. And I have done this. So there we go. Our army is now pretty strong I would say. Uh, we have the shell gun still. Are we having any upgrades to make our army stronger? Not really. I think this is going to be it for the war. Uh, let's go to railways because we need more, uh, uh, what do you call it, market access, but we are going to work on that. So uh, let's uh, let it all happen. I'm still going to wait because I want to show you what you can do with the, uh, the Austrian miners. Uh, if you don't have an obligation, you should have done it already. Alright guys, the obligation has finally expired and we can do the thing against Austria. So remember... What we want is these four states. Uh, you can conquer them, but then you get a lot of infamy. But you can release Venice, Istria and Lombardy. Uh, South Tyrol you cannot uh, liberate. There is no uh, nation that you can liberate over here. So you should initiate this war as the conquer state of South Tyrol. Well, we will face Austria and France should be on our side. See if uh, everything will go alright. Alright, so we will go for South Tyrol and now we have to add war goals. We have to liberate the countries in Lombardy, which is Lombardia. We will liberate Venice in Venezia. And then we have a little bit more points left. We are going to liberate Istria and that is the Triste country. Now we have only 10 maneuvers left. What you can do is get the Austrian war operations for example. Now we have to wait and let's see what happens. Alright, no one is going to help Austria. So that's really good for us and we have France on our side. Uh, we are also having, I guess, a little bit better troops. 
Oh, well, let's see what will happen with the uh, first couple of uh, ticks over here. Let's see if they are going to attack me. Uh, I guess France is, at is attacking the Austrians, so what I should do is help them. I think the AI can take your troops as well. Let's see what happens with the first battle over here. As you can see, we have 86 troops fighting 64. And some of my troops should be in here as well. Yes, my troops are also fighting. Now let's see if we're going to win this. Looks like the answer is yes. We're killing way more than they do. France is a very strong nation, army-wise. And this should give us already a ticking war score. Um, now we have to click these things away. We don't care about it anymore. There we go. Poof. And now they will keep attacking... It's 10 versus 10 and we are still winning because our army is very strong. That is what I did with my munition plans and uh, skirmish infantry. I will be back after the war. Alright, the war is almost over. Um, I had to do a naval invasion because we could not get through the mountains over here. So uh, they are ticking down and then we should take the one state and release the three other states. And then hopefully they are going to be already very, uh, very happy with me. Let's not lose this front here. There we go. We conquered South Tyrol and we released three nations and we have war operations. So these three nations are part of the unification. So let's see what they think about us. Uh, they are okay with us, I guess. They are disinterested. I can form some uh, defensive pacts over here. That will make them hopefully uh, very happy with me. Okay, they are genial, so I think they are ready. They should uh, support me hopefully soon. Yes, we only need Venice now. Uh, ooh, Venice, why are you not liking me? Come on! Well, we have to go after Venice uh, still. And then we can do it. So we'll be back when Venice is happy. I actually decided that I will just do, do an... Uh, what do you call it? A unification play. We just beat, uh, hopefully, Venice with our allies. And that should uh, take them all down. So since we are doing a unification play, when we win this war, all these counties will join us automatically. But of course, when they would be happy with us, when we would have our flag over here, we could do form Italy and it would all be annexed. So uh, after this war, we will annex these uh, smaller states normally. Let's see if that's going to happen. Alright, we crushed Venice with the help of France. We didn't even need France, of course. Uh, we just need to wait until they are at minus 100. And we will annex Triest, Lombardia and Venice. And my South Tyrol will be connected to our land as well. There we go. And we have everything that is now part of Italy. Uh, what you also could do next time when you go to Austria is take Tyrol. There are gold mines over there. Which is, of course, really handy. Don't forget to incorporate the states. Uh, I will show you that farming Italy is not incorporating them. So we have everything in the list now ready and we will form Italy. Boom. We have a new flag. And new color. And we now when we want to integrate the states, you see, you still have to integrate them. So uh, yeah, there we go. That is how you form Italy very quickly and how you can make use of the nation formation tab by making people um, a puppet or like you or do a unification play. We have Risorimento, Viva Italia. And that will be the end for this video guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, say in the comment section what you thought about this video. It's one of my first videos that I'm going to edit so hopefully uh, you're liking it. And I will be back with the guide for Germany and Scandinavia. Please check the links in the description. And I see you, hopefully, in another video. Bye-bye.